What is up everybody? My name is GT and I am back with another video. So you guys actually have been asking for this video. I've been talking to you guys in the comments on the previous video. Um, today we are doing the geometric line pattern that I did for my office into a different wall. Now this wall's going to be a little bit more difficult to do because uh, the texture is new. So the paint could bleed easier through it. So I want to teach you guys how to do this, um, how to make clean um, straight lines, and basically how to make this wall pattern that, we're, um, that we'll be doing uh, on this wall. I already did a border, you can't see it. What I like to do is a green border throughout around the wall so that when the pattern is done, it kind of looks like it's framed. So keep that in mind before you start. And if you're wondering about the tape I use, uh, where's the cover? This is the tape that I use, it's just called frog tape. But you can use any masking tape. This is just um, a better adhesive. It sticks better, I think, and um, I like to use it. So I'm gonna open the camera a little further back. I'm gonna start doing the pattern. Um, after that, we're gonna use a blow dryer, then we're gonna paint the lines white around it, and then we're gonna do the main uh, coat. We'll keep that in mind. I hope you guys like the time lapse, and uh, yeah. So I had to use this tape, so hopefully that'll be okay. The other tip is don't go like perfectly straight. Like, like what I mean by that is don't tape from here to here and don't tape from up to down. Try to do angles because that'll look a lot better. If you look at that, there's like like you see like one or two lines that are like perfectly horizontal and vertical. Try not to do that. Uh, every now and then it's okay, but you want to keep those lines consistent in angles. So yeah. And then another tip is also continue to tape all the way down to the floor. So that with the trim on, it's not like you went too short or anything like that, just a precaution. So when you put the trim on, it'll look good. And uh, the next step is to get the blow dryer, the hair dryer, heat it up so that it has better traction to the wall or better stick to the wall, whatever. And um, to do the paint brushing around the corners so that when you spray, because we're spraying, you don't have to spray, you can use like a roller or a brush. But um, even then, you want to get like a white. Um, paint or, or whatever you want to do for the line and paint that around the tape so that it doesn't uh, bleed through because that's another issue that I was having before and some of you guys who tried it from the previous video uh, have been in trouble as well so hopefully this will fix that we will know after trying this out so
So the wall is painted up around the lines. So next we're gonna let it dry for about an hour or two, and then we're gonna get to the spraying part. Now, I may or may not film that part, simply because it's a spray, and I'm filming with my phone, and I don't want the particles or stuff getting all over it. So um, I may or may not film that, I'll decide last second. But uh, yeah, so hopefully it turns out good. I, I, I'm hoping some of the um, tape, like it's better when you um, use a hair dryer on it, it sticks better, but um, it still kind of comes off in some places, but so far it's holding up. So hopefully when it dries, it like, stays on there. And then when we do the spray, it just peels right off. So we'll see. Also, keep it note, if you're gonna do this all in one sitting by yourself, your hands are gonna crap like my hands are just, ah, they're, they're, they're hurting. Like my hands are just hurting. They're, they're, they're cramping and it's just, I don't wanna do this like in the last five minutes of it, which is hurting so bad. So it looks like I cannot record the paint being done because I'll be taking a shower. I have work in about an hour and a half. So I'll be leaving in an hour. So hopefully it will be done, but we're just putting up everything right now. Um, yeah, it should look awesome because we're also painting the whole house while we're doing this. So, yeah. All right, guys. So um, it's been a few days, and we are all finished. Right now, we're just putting up the furniture. Um, we'll get some more in. What's today? Thursday. So we'll get some more in Saturday. So the living room will be done. Um, the lines turned out like really good, way better than I thought they would. So I was pretty happy about that. I do think while I was gone at work that my parents let it dry a little bit too much. Cause you can see in like some random areas, very few though, I would say out of this whole wall, there's about 11 areas that need retouching, which is not a lot. I'm just super stoked how well this turned out guys. The lines are super clean. So you guys can try this at home. This is a brand new texture. So keep in mind that this is the hardest to do. If you have like a wall that's been painted over several times, the texture isn't really like, I guess you could say popping out. It should work very well on um, this way. Just keep in mind after you do the white around the tape, um, an hour or so later, don't let it dry too much because you still have to put the tan on. And once you put the tan on, do not let that dry. Take the paint off as soon as you get the, the uh, main color on. Just take it off. And keep in mind to be creative. Um, if you guys do this on your own, Tweet me over at RL Power Chords or tag me on Instagram at Power Chords and uh, let me know what you guys think of this video down below in the comments. I know some of you have been wanting this and um, I'm really happy to do this for you guys and um, try this out. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out everyone. Be safe out there.